everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm Erin, and if you clicked on today's video you already know this is going to be a story time video about when i got into a car accident so if you are interested in that stay tuned but before we get into that do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up because you already know it helps me and my channel out also very much also do not forget to subscribe below and drop a comment in the comment section and let me know about the times when y'all got into a car accident so let's get right into today's video because y'all not gonna want to miss this one so look basically me my boyfriend, his brother, and his friend, we was off to go to a club or something. I can't remember what club we was going to. Man, y'all, I don't go to clubs. So, y'all already know, like, my first experience going to a club, somebody totaled my car. So, y'all better believe I haven't went to a club after. I know what y'all thinking, like, you don't feel like that's a little too extreme? No, I don't feel like that's too extreme because... No, I don't feel like that's too extreme. So... <clears throat> We was driving down, like, okay, so we driving down Halstead. So right now we passing like 123rd and Halstead and going towards 119th and Halstead. So if y'all not familiar with Chicago, I'm gonna like place something on the screen so y'all can kind of like get like a visual of what it looks like. So we driving down the street or whatever. Okay, I'm not gonna say that I wasn't driving fast because I, I most likely was because I think the speed limit right there was like maybe like 35. So I had to have been doing at least. 45 or something like that so wasn't it wasn't too fast but it was still i guess speeding okay so uh and it was late too y'all so it's not like oh yeah you just driving off fast down the it was late it was like 11 12 o'clock at night so it wasn't really nobody outside okay so <laughs> so as we're driving down um house it was a chrysler 300 now don't y'all know how a car like okay so i'm going this way so let's say i'm going south and this person is coming north so this person was in the north lane but they was in a turning lane trying to turn was that right in front of me no left in front of me they was trying to turn left in front of me and y'all know like when y'all be in that turning lane in the middle of the street you have to yield to the person that's coming from you know coming from south like because they have the right of way you have to wait until it's clear before you can turn the corner right okay so yeah, we cruising, we riding, we playing music, hee hee hee. And this car, not only do this car not yield to me, but they literally turn out in front of me so damn slow, y'all. Like, it was so slow. And I'm just like, I swear to God, when I seen the car turn out in front of me, I knew I wasn't going to have enough time to stop, G. I knew I wasn't going to have enough time to stop. So, in my mind, <coughs> like, I probably think, like, girl, you steady coughing. Got me some slack. So, when the car turned out in front of me, I'm instantly thinking like, y'all, the first thing I said, and I swear to God, <laughs> we can ask my boyfriend, we can ask anybody that was in the car. The first thing I was like, the first thing I said was, not again. So at that point, when they turned out in front of me, y'all, like, they turned in front of me, and I literally, let me see what this. So they turning in front of me, so as they turning, obviously, I don't have enough time to stop y'all, because like I said, I, I was driving, like, really fast so the car not only turned out slow in front of me but as it like was turning i tried to hit my brakes but i knew i wasn't gonna stop in time like i literally t-boned this car like so i t-boned the car bam now we like on the sad street a little bit so y'all i don't know if y'all ever been in a sonic or been in an accident in a chevy sonic but all the airbags basically came out in the car and i don't know if y'all know like how many airbags is in the sonic i actually don't remember how many up in there but i put it on the screen right here so y'all can kind of get like a visual so the airbag instantly come out the steering wheel hit me dead in my face and you know what y'all i'm so grateful that during these accidents like any accident i ever been in it was never serious it was they was all serious accidents but it was never serious enough where i had to go to the hospital because i was hurt so like this airbag literally smacked me like dead in the face my best friend friend she was sitting in the passenger seat like the airbag came out like at the bottom and that sprained her ankle sprained her ankle i said that right that sprained her ankle and then my boyfriend and his brothers in the back seat like he hit his head on the back of the driver um headrest and he had like a like a little scratch on his nose and then i don't think it was nothing wrong with my boyfriend brother he was fine okay y'all so we all like my car smoking and stuff so we hop out the car well, i hop out the car because you know I'm, I'm, about, I'm trying to look at the damage on my car like what the fuck is going on so <coughs> I hop at the car, the dude get out the car, he's instantly looking confused. And y'all, I knew, when I seen his face, I knew for a fact his ass was drunk or something like, and 
he, he was he was he was either drunk or he was off something because he was just looking so confused like he ain't know what was going on so i'm assuming okay so y'all know after i get out the car he get out the car he looking confused i'm assuming before he got out the car y'all he must have called his people or whoever because literally not not even five minutes later like a car full of people just pulled up like a car full of, of men pull, pulled up and they got out the car like like they was gonna do something like for one yes technically i did hit the car but it's because he did not yield to me so he turned out in front of me so y'all pulled up for what so y'all already know i called the police all right so we called the police you know we waiting for the police to get there so when the police get there I'm, and I started explaining the story to the police or whatever. And I guess the police officer had um, went over to the guy. And he was talking to the guy or whatever. And this whole time, like, the dude, people that he called up here, like, they was outside yelling. They, like, like they trying to fight or shoot or I don't know what they were trying to do. But they was out there doing a whole lot. And I'm just like, I really ain't paying no mad because I wasn't worried. Because for one, I ain't do nothing wrong. So, and I'm not going to jail because I ain't did nothing. So, the police like, okay, let me get all y'all information or whatever. So, okay, cool. So, I go back to my car to get my driver's license and my insurance. Y'all, tell me why his people threw a, like, an empty container of, like, maybe, like, a cooler or something. Like, some type of liquor on my, pa on the driver's seat. Trying to make it seem like I was under the influence. And for one, I found that so, so funny because, y'all, I don't drink or I don't smoke. So, I'm like... What? So I, I really just threw it out on the street. Like, I don't know if this is that was a way for them to try to get me arrested or something. But if anything, if the police officer was talking to me, I'm talking to the police officer as soon as he get on the scene. If I had liquor on my um, if I was drunk, I would have the the smell of liquor coming from my mouth or whatever. And I'm pretty sure the police officer would have knew, like, okay, well, this person, like, you're under the influence and you probably caused the accident. But since I was actually, you know, present, and when I talked to the police, he didn't say nothing because I wasn't acting like I was off nothing. But the other dude, he was looking like he was off some stuff. And, yes, y'all, I kind of found out he was drunk. <laughs> he was definitely drunk. So, the police get my, get my information. The police get his information. And then they actually ended up arresting him because, y'all, he was drunk. Like, he was under the influence. You caused this accident. So, I called the tow truck. They offered to tow my car to Webb Chevy, which is on 95th and Cicero. They offered to tow my car. So, they towed my car over there, and then they towed his car. Okay. I get his. I got his information. I guess he get my information. Cool. His people end up leaving the scene. We end up leaving the scene. Okay, so once we left the scene or whatever, my boyfriend and his friend had went to the hospital. So we was up in the hospital for a few hours. And yes, y'all, <laughs> we didn't make it to the club, but I was digging my own club anyway because somebody just tore my car up yet again. Man, y'all, I have three Chevy Sonics, so I'm on my second Sonic right now. So this person tore my Sonic up. And y'all already know. If y'all watched my previous video, y'all, oh, hold on, which, whatever side to be on. If y'all watched my previous video, y'all already know how I feel about people tearing up my cars. <laughs> okay. Bam. Let's get to the next day. So, the next day, I call up old dude insurance company. And let me tell y'all. It is a big difference when you get into a car accident with somebody with some good insurance. And then you get into a car accident with somebody with some shitty insurance. And... <coughs> Hey, you look out. This person had the shitty insurance. Now, should I say the insurance name up on here? I ain't gonna say the insurance name. But it was some shitty insurance. Unlike Geico and Progressive, which the, the first and the last accident that I was in, one of them, the first person had Geico and the last person had Progressive. So, I ain't gonna say the other one. Okay, so I call this insurance company. Y'all, guess what? They go say, well, technically, the guy who was driving the car is not on my the person's insurance, so we technically cannot cover that. I say, like, hell, y'all can't. I don't care who was driving the car. This is y'all insured vehicle. Y'all need to take that up with y'all insured driver. I can tell y'all the girl's name. Her name was Monique. So, I guess the car was on somebody named Monique, and that was her boyfriend driving her car. And look, y'all. I do not play when it comes to my cars. Like, ain't nobody driving my car. And people really be letting these dudes drive their cars and total they stuff. Like, I know too many people who, who don't did that. And that, when I get when I start having cars, I'm like, that ain't gonna never be me. You can't even ride around a 
the corner in my car with me not in it. So, so they try to say like, yeah, we were not gonna cover that because that's not gonna do with us. I'm like, actually it does. And y'all got the right one. So after several phone calls with them, they ended up saying, okay, well, we spoke with our insured driver and all that stuff, and I don't know if she just took blame or whatever, I really don't know, really don't care. Um, they like, so what we can do is, and this is why I tell y'all like the, the bullshit insurance companies, they, this is what they told me. So we are only gonna take 85% liability because we feel like you could have stopped in time, so you need to take 15% and we only take 85. And this is what I found so crazy. Like, why would I hit a car head on? Like, we all could have died in that car accident. And you talking about some, y'all yeah, feel like I could have avoided the accident by just miss, like not hitting the car or swerving out the way. I didn't have time to do that. I just got that car. Like I said, y'all, I, I have recently gotten into a car accident. I had just got that car. So why would I purposely hit a car head on? I live, I hate it. Look, y'all, I don't know how, how often or how many times y'all have dealt with insurance companies. I hate dealing with insurance companies. Why would I purposely get into a car accident to have to deal with a insurance company? Yes, I get pain and suffering money and I always get another car, but that's not the point. It's still a process. It's not like, okay, I get into a car accident today, I get a car tomorrow. No, it's like a process. Like, I literally have to wait upwards to a month. Like, I don't... <sighs> Y'all, this shit... It, it's getting me it's getting me heated just just thinking about this because when they said that to me I'm just like I knew I knew this was a BS company when they told me oh yeah we can't cover that because he's he's not on the policy I don't give a fuck who's on the policy y'all need to uh total my car out and run me my money so in the end they ended up taking 85% liability and I had to take 15% even though <sighs> Even though it wasn't my fault. Which, like I said, y'all, drop a comment in that comment section and let me know if y'all think that it was right for me to take that 15% liability because I, I ain't do nothing wrong. Like, yes, I did hit them, but I had the right away. Like, I had the right away, y'all. Like, I, I can't stress this enough. Like, I had the right away. So, <clears throat> yes, I did hit him, but it definitely could have been avoided if you was not drinking and driving. So, that's gonna be it for this story. If y'all do like content like this, do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up because you already know it helps me and my channel out oh so much. Also, do not forget to subscribe below because you already know you should have been doing that anyway. So go ahead, subscribe to your girl. And also y'all, do not forget to drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this car accident video because this one was a little bit more like I had to deal with a little bit more with this one than I had to with the first one and the last one, the one I talked about before. So don't forget to hop in that comment section, y'all. Also, before I let y'all go, y'all already know the rest. I cannot let y'all know enough how much I love and appreciate every single last one of y'all. Like y'all, y'all, y'all my hearts. Y'all don't even realize it. Y'all, y'all my hearts. So let me let y'all go. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna get ready. Girl, what am I talking about? I'm See y'all in my next upload. Bye y'all.